Uh, I'm quite good at beating the devil, if you know what I mean. Good to know. Yeah. Welcome to this week's episode of The Gracie Note. I am here with... Chica Me! Yeah. My name's Alexa Dirks. I'm Amy Kipperman. I'm Ben. Wow. Congratulations on such a great album. And first I want to ask about my favorite song on the record, which is Maybe I Need Some Lovin'. Is there a mirror that, I can sh that can show me some patience that I can look through to see the dreams I don't know? Yes. That is the lyric. Can you talk about that that lyric in particular and that verse? In a more simpler term is that like I'm not a very patient person <laughs> in general. Right. So it's kind of like can someone can someone just tell me what's gonna happen is kind of the most simplest way of putting it. I wanna know I wanna see the, the future. future like through a crystal ball or through like like the the witch in Snow White who's always or is that Snow White or Sleeping Beauty? No, no, it's Snow White. The yeah, yeah, Snow yeah, White. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of just like I want to show me things that I can't already just see by looking into it. But it's cool that you chose a mirror as opposed to that crystal ball because a mirror yeah. is your reflection. So you're looking within yourself as opposed to someone else for those answers. That's true. Light a Match, which I'm so excited is the title track, is the first music video you released. Can you talk about the music video and part of the stop motion graphics that were in it and you guys singing together in, in any of it? We had very little knew what that would turn out like because the part that we did was just like we got to this studio space and uh, Mike Mariniak who's the, the director of the video he just kind of had this old camera that he, he took he like he filmed us basically doing a whole bunch of different things but yeah. you know like singing into this light we were like crying because there's eyes were watering. Like, was, like our eyes were watering and stuff and all these things but but we had no idea what the rest of it was going to be like until yeah. he finished it and we really didn't have a clue at all, and when we saw it, we were like, whoa! So, he has this whole way of, of working with stop motion that, he I don't know, he kind of took, like, made the made the song into something of a story. He mm. put a storyline to the song that had nothing to do with what we told him. He really found, like, some, his own kind of expression within it. When you, when you were writing the lyrics for the song, it was, you, you really sink into that moment of letting the match and watching it burn, you know, because you're, the, the chorus is so powerful, singing it over and over and, and really letting it seep in. Did you actually, any of you ever light a match and just watch it burn and let? I used to do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, uh, I'd play. Uh, what was that game called? Beat the Devil. I've never heard of that. No. It's when you light a match and then you watch it burn, and then uh, when you get to the end of it, kind of grab the charred end. Is that how you call it? Yeah. And then you um, you hold it like it's kind of still hot, so you gotta watch out. And yeah. then you you like watch the match burn all the way to the end. Oh my gosh! Is it? Did you? Not and you, it's called trying to beat the devil because because it, it's hard to do because often like it's too it's too hot, so like you can't yeah. you can't actually hold it, so you really gotta be. But because I guess my fingers are kind of from playing from playing guitar for a long time, like my, my fingers don't feel anything anymore, so I can play that game quite well. You can always beat the devil. <laughs> and uh, I'm quite good at beating the devil, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. Good to know. <laughs> All night you guys sing together really, really solidly, so was mm -hmm. that one person, or was that kind of a collaborative effort from the beginning? Um, it came together like in different parts, I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, because um, it originated basically with you and on not at first, and yeah. then, but I think we had on this record in general this idea to have a kind of like a really strong uh, vocal presence where there's going to be more multi lead singing, yeah, or like more yeah. gang singing on this record, yeah. and and that song was like, oh hey, here it is, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it was one of our first kind of experiences with that. It's cool to hear girls doing it. <laughs> if you can, if you can talk about it, like just playing in the studio uh, and bringing that track together in the studio, what was that experience like with Mike Cork? That track came together in the studio because we tried playing it live before and just was always lacking something. We had the idea, like the idea comes from a long time ago, like a jam a long time ago, and, and um, but it really came together in the studio when when we decided like, okay, how can we, we like, we like the root of the song. And right. We like the energy of the song and, and all that, but how can we really make it come together? So 
we kind of sat down with our instruments and just tried to come up with a way to really have a nice climax at the end of the song. Kind of, in a way, cut and paste in our heads and probably in a computer as well, originally before we recorded it. Um, just to try to like get the idea down and then once we had it we recorded it and it's only after we recorded it that we started playing it live with the new mm -hmm. the new arrangement that was that had that that like uh, that grand finale you can visit everything at www.cheekgemen.com and visit them on facebook and twitter you can find all of their initiatives in this week's article in the description below and thank you guys so much for thank joining you. this week Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.